Now, what are the jobs of a controller? Now, we take the example of driving and with the objective to maintain the speed. Now, if we take the case one, suppose you're driving on a road and then approaching an uphill. So, in that case, if you have the speed, suppose speed was maintained at this desired side value. So, you are maintaining at the speed at the desired value with some gas flow. Suppose this. So, when you are approaching the uphill, if you keep the gas flow to be the same, so this is speed, this is a fuel flow. So, if you keep the fuel flow to be the same while approaching the uphill, your speed may go down. Now, if you do not want that, if you still want to maintain the speed at the desired value, what you have to do, you have to change the gas flow. So, with the change in elevation, you have to change gas flow that will allow you to keep the speed at the desired value. Maybe it will change some by some value because the speed back control and come back to the desired value and that you will be able to maintain the speed. So, that is one scenario. <clears throat> Look at the another scenario. Suppose you are going on the highway and then you want to exit from the highway. In this case, you had a desired value, you are going at certain speed and you are maintaining the speed by maintaining certain flow of gas, a flow of fuel. So, this is speed, this is your fuel flow. So, as you are exiting, the speed limit might change and what you have to do, you have to also change your gas flow to another value so that your speed may be at the desired value. So, these are two cases when the first case you have a change in the elevation. So, that says that you have a change in the disturbance. In the second case, you have a change in the desired value at the set point. Okay. And similarly, for the case of a distillation column, we also might have these two scenarios. Suppose for case one, when there is a change in the feed temperature. Now, if you have this scenario, so suppose you have the distribution column is operating well, you have a set point value for this top product for XD and the column is running well, you are having this XD to be following the set point. Now, if you have a change in the feed temperature, suppose for some reason the feed temperature start going down at some point. Something like this type of change may take place. Okay. Now, if you keep the reflex ratio to be the same, what will happen that the product composition might also follow suit and go to another value. Okay. So, the job of the control will be to keep the XD to follow the set point in the presence of the disturbance. So, that is case 1. Now, case 2 can be another scenario. That you are producing this 
xd at a certain set point value suppose your, your set point value is 0 0.98 so you are producing 90 percent of the product but the plant may be in need to produce product of different grains so the set point may also change that okay you want to produce suppose 95 percent previously you are producing 98 percent benzene now we have to produce the 95 percent benzene so in that case you also will have to that you will have to manipulate the reflux ratio in a way that it will not be following the exact line but however it will be something like so you see these two cases for driving and for distribution column there may be different scenarios for case one that a disturbance is changing and case two the set point is changing for the distribution case column system as well you will have these two scenarios that the disturbance here the tf is one of the disturbances this disturbance may change or the set point may change so these are the two main scenarios that the controller faces and the the job the control will be to maintain the xd at the desired values so for the first case when it we see there is a change in disturbance the controller will have to maintain the xd at its desired value and that control is called regulatory control Now for case 2, you have a change in set point. The controller has to maintain the output at the new desired value or the new set point. So this is what is called this tracking control. 